graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to load PNG files into Photoshop and use them as brushes. You can, of course, use them also as patterns as well. Now, you can do them individually, and of course, you can use them in other applications more than just uh, Photoshop. Use them in Photoshop Elements, Publisher, Photo Paint, PaintShop Pro, and all those sort of applications. Each of them have got a slight different way of actually installing them. Sometimes you just add them to a folder, simple as that. In Photoshop, you actually have to define them. So I'm just going to go to File and Open. And I'm just going to select, now this one's the Contour Brushes. Just click Open here. And then go over to Edit and Define Brush Preset. Click OK. Now you've got the brush, you can just go down here, you can actually see the brush, there it is down there, in the brushes part. Obviously just select one of these brush tools, brush tool there, or as well other tools such as blur, sharpen, smudge, dodge tool, burn tool, sponge tool, art history, history brush, all those. Basically once you select those, you can then go to this palette over here and just select the brush for that tool. Okay, you might not want to do every single one of those because there's 48, there's 50 different brushes in the contour brushes set in the graphic extras. And of course you may have thousands of other PNG files or JPEG files and you want to load them as brushes. You don't want to go through all those individually. Well, you can, but if you don't, you can go to the actions palette over here. And if you can't see that, actions. And the brush set comes with a set of actions. And I'm just going to quickly load those. So go right side menu, load actions, and select that ATN file. They're all ATN files. Click open, and it's loaded now into there. You can see all the various actions that are included. One of them is define brush. Of course, you can create your own. You can just record an action and then define that. So you just basically do the same sort of thing. Instead of file open, you just do the make define brush create an action with that okay you can also go file and now automate batch now this is the key thing that's what I'm basically saying use an action you can actually go through and here's this folder PNG files graphic extras one pack 198 choose the folder location go through select the correct actions set one define brush at is as is don't go with the first one because sometimes that's not actually what you want that one actually does some other weird operation that uh, I don't want to do. So, okay. So then you just basically click OK and then it will just run through all those and define them. Now, don't want to do that. I'm just going to press Escape because I don't stop. Right, because I've actually done that earlier and here's many of the brushes just been stored. And then once you've actually stored them, like I say, you just go over to the brush tool, set the color here set the color in the foreground select the art history I don't want that one so I'm just going to select that one and just apply the brush like that anyway hope you found this tutorial of interest